Extended, uh, three, three, three blaster box, 23, 24, upper deck extended series hockey, featuring 12 cards pack, four packs box, and we're going to see what the offering is for the retail configuration of upper deck extended series, so there's that. But before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Mirage Trading. Looking for sealed boxes yourself? Check out MirageTrading.com, featuring all the new boxes, ranging from hockey to TCG. Be sure to check out Mirage Breaks, in which Mirage is live streaming on Whatnot and YouTube Friday and Saturday. Follow them on Whatnot and bookmark their shows to be notified when they are live. Canadians can join their breaks from Mirage Breaks website and earn points, which can be redeemed for discounts. Be sure to check out the app, a very useful and handy with a shop featuring a section just for Bedard boxes, pre orders, and much, much more. So be sure to check out the app. And also be sure to check out Sizzle to buy now and pay later to make purchasing those big ticket items easier. So thank you, Mirage Train, for sponsoring today's video. All links in the description. Let's get into today's video. So we got three blasters, a 23 24 extended series. Before I continue on, these blasters cost 40 bucks Canadian. I've seen these for 30 bucks US on Upper Deck Store. A bit much. You also got to factor in that the retail configurations for extended are very limited. No tins. Pretty sure there's no oversized young guns. So the retail offering is very limited for extended. But we do have these blasters, which come with four packs, 12 cards a pack. And well, what should we expect here? Well, there's a couple of retail exclusive things, which is nice, including right here on the side. Blaster exclusive. Collect one Dazzler's Green per box. So yeah, the Dazzler's Green fall one in four. And another retail exclusive thing, Seeing Red Gold. They are one in four packs. So it should be expecting one seeing red gold lace the dart that's actually a pretty decent sale there a card that actually does appeal to me there because they are good looking cards but it is 100 on a checklist so pretty much you have a one in 100 shot at any given player when opening a blast gear for the seeing red gold also for the basic stuff the young guns slash first round rookies are one in four so you're not guaranteed a base young guns in a blaster and if you also consider the 0809 retro young guns are one in seven i would think there's many blasters out there where you do not get a single young guns regular or retro the canvas young guns are one in 48 packs so twice as hard to retail here your numbered stuff won't won't be in here your clear cuts won't be in here but a lot of those inserts are actually available in here also outbursts young guns are one in 300 which are quite tough but oh and the acetate inserts are the same odds as hobby with the hockey here's 115 special force 160 but yeah let's check out the retail configuration for extended series and see what we can get in terms of value for three retail blasts so let's get right into it all right extended we are not guaranteed a young gun and it's worth pointing out i didn't point this out hobby they have the cup is actually manageable in here the one in 500 pack for hobby and retail which falls in line with years past where it was one in 1000 when you factor in hobby boxes have 12 packs instead of 24 in the past you're actually attainable unlike series two which were like one in two thousand packs but here's the four retail packs of extended quite blue so yeah i'm just hoping to get value here you're not guaranteed the young guns which is pretty sad but we shall see what we have in here it looks like we do have a seeing red gold to start off here the nuge black diamond i believe the bedard black diamond quad is also one and two are in here but we do have a young guns but first we got seeing red gold jack hughes so these are one per blaster cool retail exclusive thing there and their young guns is Emil heineman my third heineman young gun so we did get a young gun again these in first round rookies fall one and four for retail so okay second pack of blaster number one here we have another seeing red but first ridley greg ud3 leo carlson seeing red the regular one and a brady kachuk beehive along with the number cards no acetate young guns again retails a dumbed down version i guess we're hoping for some bedard rookie inserts in here but we have here's our dazzler's green of the blaster we yeah to bring it dazzler's green kind of cool there a minchikov so first round rookie so i guess we beat the odds there we have a john ludwig young guns canvas behind him there so we did get a canvas young guns which are 148 not bedard but john ludwig young guns canvas k base and a final pack first blaster actually a pretty decent blaster i guess gold stock pack from 21 22 i guess that was a one-off retail exclusive parallel to the retro young guns i kind of wish that was still a thing it kind of adds quite a bit but we have silver skates connor zary got a quinn hughes oh we have an outburst young guns dang okay that's a decent pull there quinn hughes 809 retro so we have an outburst silver young guns i'm hoping for hill to be here i missed out on the gold 101 i wasn't aggressive enough i regret it but we have sam malinsky outburst silver young guns so not bad there he actually looked fairly decent he's an older rookie but decent on the blue line there for the abs Towards the end of the year, he got in quite a few games. So not necessarily a big time young guns there, but not a bad young guns whatsoever. Sam Malinsky. Oper Silver Young Guns from Loose Pack. Once again, these are one in 300 packs. So we beat the odds on several occasions there with that first blaster. So cool. All right, blaster two. Did not pull a single Upper Silver Young Guns from a thousand bucks worth of packs or the release day break. So cool to see one there. All right, second blaster here of extended series. Seeing red gold, the first pack again. There's a Fantilli triple diamond. We have a young guns there as well. But seeing red, Sam Reinhardt. According to this right before free agency, we'll see where he goes. But we have young guns behind the seeing red gold retail exclusive of sam reinhardt is georgie Merkulov there so one i've already pulled did get another young guns there fortunately uh what the heck is what what is this hold on i am very confused i bought this from a hobby shop that looks fricked up there i didn't even notice that all right well that's kind of confusing but i guess we'll check it out here nonetheless that's a little concerning for sure but we got laferriere ud3 i don't know what that is seeing red mitch marner and a svechikov beehive okay i don't know what that was all about it was only with that pack there so kind of confusing there but we, yeah, we got seeing red wayne gretzky nice and we have our dazzlers green here alex newhook dazzlers green and a first round rookies of simon edvitton so standard there looks like we've been getting one young guns and one 
first round rookies per blaster. All right, file pack for the second blaster. Retail here, Jake Ottinger, Hollow View. Then we got a Mark Stone Silver Skates and an 0809 of Pasternak. Okay. And let's open up the final blaster, 2324 Extended Series. All right, let's see how this final blaster plays out. Doesn't seem to be too bad of an option. I mean, still like 10 bucks a pack Canadian, which is a bit much, but we should have a seeing red gold. The first, but yeah, it's pretty formulaic here. So we have Black Diamond, Alex Tuck. We have a youngest behind there. It is. Well, there you go. Adam Fantilli, seeing red gold. That's pretty nice. Not bad there whatsoever. Seeing red gold to Fantilli. I'm not sure how much that one goes for, but we have Ivan Roshnichenko, young gun. So decent one there. Russian 20th overall pick in 2022. Absolutely could be a top six guy for them. There you go. Roshnichenko, young guns. I'll take it. Second pack extended series. This is a retail blaster. Uh, we got Elias Silver Skates. And we got a seeing red Jeff Skinner and a beehive rookie of Connor Zary. Two more packs extended retail. Not too bad of an opening here. For the price point, I think it's fine, but we got Matt Patra. Dazzer's green. It's not too bad there. We have a Flames Young Guns behind him there. It's Martin Pospisil. Young Guns there. Decent one there. Played most of the year with Calgary. Decent surprise for Calgary. I'd say he's ideally a pretty good third line that plays with an edge. But there you go. There's a Martin Pospisil Young Guns. There's a Stuart Skinner upper deck canvas and more base. And a final pack. Extended series. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever for extended retail here. We got Logan Cooley. All of you. And we do have a retro Young Guns there. But hey, there's a Connor Bedard. UD3 say. There you go. Retro rookie insert Connor Bedard. And a Adam Fantilli. Young Guns retro. Again, when this stuff gets cheap, it's going to be worth it. And that's a good way to finish it off. Fantilli Young is retro. I mean, value is actually not bad there whatsoever. So, guys, there's three retail blasters. 23, 24 extended series. Actually, a pretty good break there, rivaling a hobby box, I would say. Probably my best break of extended, but here's a bunch of miscellaneous basic inserts. Now, in terms of more interesting stuff here, here's our three Dazzlers Green. We've got Debrinket, New Hook, and Matt Patra. We got Seeing Red, Wayne Gretzky. And our three Seeing Reds Gold are Jack Hughes, Sam Reinhart, and Adam Fantilli. We also got an Adam Fantilli Rookie Jams Triple Diamond. We also got a Connor Bedard in here, which I didn't realize is pretty beat up in the corner there, but it matches the amount of Bedards I pulled from Hobbies, so the Bedard UD3. In terms of Young Guns and first round rookies, only two first round rookies, which is good. Edvison and Minchikov. Now, in terms of Young Guns, we actually did very well. We got seven from three blasters, including four basic, including Martin Pospisil, Moroshtachenko, Merkulov, and Heinemann. We also got this Adam Fantilli, 0809 Retro Young Guns, the only Retro Young Guns pulled. We got a 1 in 48 John Ludwig Canvas Young Guns, and we got a 1 in 300 Sam Malinsky Young Guns Outburst Silver. So, all in all, yeah, retail's not bad. I actually would recommend a blaster or two. Frog definitely seems more suited for retail, I would say, so there's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.